The night has come. It's called losing my control. Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a new graphic card. So what we're going to look at today is the Rogue Strix Gaming RTX 2070 Super. Uh, this card has Asus Aura RGB as well as the, this is the Advanced Edition. Uh, this card costs about $507 on Amazon as I've seen. Uh, a link will be in the description. Uh, let's look on the side here. And not much more can be seen here, so just, let's just switch to the back side here for a second. And on this side we see a lot of new information. Um, as for an example, the um, back side you have the max contact tech, uh, which means that they have sanded down the... Uh, and you know, made a better finish for the heat spreader. So it, it's apparently 10 times better, uh, well, flatter, so it makes better contact with the GPU. As well as uh, it has the auto extreme tech, which means that they, you know, automatically manufacture this better somehow. It also has the auto sync, uh, dual BIOS, so you can switch between the overclock or standard edition modes. It has 3 year warranty, you get the software suit with. Uh, and also on the back side we can see the ports, but we're gonna talk about them later. So let's see on the side here. We see no more information there, so... Let's take a peek on the card itself. So just, let's take it out of the box here. The card is out of the box and we can see the extra metal casing around the card to reduce the bending of the card. We have the nice fans that will cool this beast without a problem and everything around it is black, even the back plate. And if you look on the back side here we can see a really nice black back plate, which is nice. And on the port side we can see the two HDMI ports, 2.0B, two display ports, 1.4 and one USB-C. Let's look how this card looks within a case, like here. The RGB looks really nice within the case, and as you can see, the big ASUS logo on the back plate there looks really nice. We also see some RGB on the side and on the underneath of the card. Uh, we can also see the NVLink uh, connector, so if you want a multi-GPU solution, that's completely fine. Just take note that this card is extra thick, so if you're gonna have that, measure out so you have space for it. This card takes two 8-pin connectors and the overclock capability is nice on this card. We managed to push the GPU boost to 2.1 and memory to 15.9. Let's look at the differences in performance. Now we will come to the part where we spin the wheel and see which subscriber is the lucky winner of this weekend. Remember to subscribe and also to comment on our new videos to be able to get to this giveaway. Congratulations Tiny Steve! Let's spin the other wheel and see which game you are going to get. Remember to subscribe and click the bell notification for more videos, as well as like, comment and share. To be in the next weekend's giveaway, just see to it that you have subscribed and that you have commented on the video. Uh, if you have done that, you will be in the next weekend's spinning the wheel giveaway. Thanks for watching, have a good day now, bye bye!